All right, we are back. Continuing on, we just finished Marcus's chapter where we stole a truck from Cyberlife. Uh, finished the storyline where Connor woke up Hank and escaped from Slotco in the previous episode. We are recording this live at Twitch. Slash TV, Namron 68686. So be sure to tune in there to watch these recordings live. Let's get in and see who's next. The Sexiest Androids. Well, this should prove interesting. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Make sure it's recording. Yes, it is. Good. Sure this is the place? No. It's the address in the report. Okay, yes, I am. Okay. Let's get going. All right, let's go. Are you going to fall? Hank is warm. Emotional instability. What's going on over there? What's over here? Come on. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> Weren't you the one who decided to get up as soon as you heard about this? Well then. He's rubbing his hands together. Oh my god. Connor, calm down. Still follow Hank, okay? Hi. Interesting. That's a cool poll. I want one just because it's cool. Connor! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Coming in, <isn't> it? <laughs> God. Can we can we do that again? No, don't doesn't look like we can. Where where the hell is Hank? Oh. Carter. What are you doing? What I Let's see, is there anything we could do while you're talking? Doesn't seem like it. Will you let me through? God freaking damn it. I gotta go the long way around. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. It's, uh, I'm starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Night. Hmm. Start with the android. Analyze the blood. He's gonna lick it. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> oh my god. Diagnose. Critically damaged. Critically damaged. Okay. Wait, I wasn't done. There was one other. Th whatever. Okay. All right, so we got to go on this side. No sign of cardiac event. Strangled. Okay. 
reconstruct. That does explain how he she's dead. A heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. Let me guess. Something here. If you can read the android's memory, if you can see what happened. Reactivation required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. She's dead. There was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. Probably no. not. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. I'm sure there Maybe is. Maybe eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Okay. Hmm. Can we talk? No? Okay. Probably didn't notice anything. Can't go in there. Yeah. Discretion. Excuse me, Lieutenant. You come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Okay. Can you rent this, Tracy? <laughs> For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. <laughs> Just trust me. Are you? I'll 
I'll take you to your room. Well, thank you. Now what? Probe it. That one. Oh, that's his. That's his wife. That's Connor's wife right there. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? We can't go any further. It saw something. What are you talking about? It saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Uh. Let's try this one. We can go. Okay, so it went that way. It went that way, somewhere. I saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android. Come on. So it was out of sight at this time. No. I lost its track again. Come on. Where? There, there we go. She went in that, that direction. You most likely had a connection. You serious? You of all people, the one in the very center, didn't see anything? I didn't see anything. I made a How? mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Serious? No. I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Try one of these. Okay, okay, come on. Where's the blue hair? Really? We only have what two more? I didn't see anything. I made a mistake. Mistake somewhere. Alright. One of those two. They're close to the entrance, so they had to see something. There. Okay, she went that way. Shit. 
I'm... I'm gonna say that she probably... Fine. Okay, not that one. They didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. You most likely saw something be right next to the entrance. You had to see. There she is. A hidden room. left the room which means you had to see something you're right next to it Cleaner. Bingo. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking egg. This is crazy. We almost ran out of time. Right. I'll take it from here. Okay. Go, Hank, go. sure we're not is that north tech addict really Till they break and then they get tossed out. <coughs> oh, hello. Hi. Don't move. There's two of them. My God. Hank. Quick, they're getting away. 
Sorry. Not today. My God, we almost missed that. Spare. I do not want to shoot you. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. Yeah. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he the rain's a nice effect. Makes her look like she's crying. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed. Did it feel good? Until he stopped moving. I'm sure it felt good. I didn't, didn't mean to kill him. No? I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. That had to be interesting for her to I say to him. To hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. Dirty words. Come so on. smell bothers androids, huh? Let's go. That's fine. I can go. Friend, huh? Probably better this way. <laughs> I love how not getting them makes him a friend. Not catching them, not doing his job makes him a friend. Doubts. Deviant escaped. Were we making Connor doubt? That was a really good chapter. Alright. We back with Kara. Yes, we are. We have Luther. Alice is unfortunately neutral because a lot of the choices we've had to take have led to, you know, her relationship going down. Let's try to talk to Alice. I guess not. Good things Laco had a car. Hmm. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Bro, well, your timeline, it probably doesn't necessarily need it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured them. They said they were humans helping androids across the board. What if it was a lie? Just another trap. It's true. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Cool. Malfunction detected. Uh oh. Really? This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. All right, so how do we fix it? Seriously? There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cap. A 
Okay, so not that way. So where in the world? Why not just stay? Seriously? Okay. Can't go that way. Can't can't go that way. Can't fix the car for crying out loud. Can't go up there. It's over here. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Over there. That ought to be interesting. <laughs> Love how he's just carrying her. That'd be me. I'd, I'd totally be Luther. I may not necessarily have the same skin shelter. tone, we have to get out of the cold. but I'm a giant like him. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, probably. Definitely has that appearance. Okay, what have we got here? Anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Uh, what do we have here? Definitely foreshadowing something. I don't know if you want to go that way. But why in the world not? What do we have here? I've already seen this part, so this ought to be interesting. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. A whale of a time, huh? To Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. <laughs> poor, poor guy. I wonder if he's gonna thaw out. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Go this way. That looks somewhat promising. Though it also looks like a giant skull of some sort. Too small. Frozen Winterland. Thought I saw something move. Just imagining things. Don't mind me. Going crazy over here. Crazy. Oh, hello. This looks interesting. What do we got here? Look safe. Okay. Can we avoid breaking the window? Go, car, go. I'll handle this. Okay. 
Let me guess, one punch? One pull, just like that. Voila! Oh, now voila. Here we go. Would have been much better with a voila. It's like magic. Is that pirate going to turn on? I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Okay. Got to read our books. Or speed read. Like I said, speed read. Just boom. Come on, down. All Android band tip for music prize. Cool. That's adorable. Okay, okay, okay. We probably couldn't do much anyway, carrying all this stuff. Now, I never seen her really eat other than when she dealt with Todd. It's the only time I've seen her eat. Does she not eat? Human kids eat, you know that, right? Is this cool so there's a gun that means we might need that oh she just wants a family We're finally no longer neutral. Maybe. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. <laughs> as long as we're together, that's all that matters. Aww. How cute. Offer cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Okay, okay, what do we have here? What's this? Something's gonna move out there, isn't it? Didn't I just do that? Okay. Can't do anything with Luther. Then, let's go kneel with Alice. Sleep tight, Alice. Oh, how Sweet cute. Dreams. 
How cute. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. Oh, sweet Jesus. Let's go with the unicorn. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot. Hmm. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. Hmm. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were so brave that they escaped all of them. Hmm. Along the way, they met an interesting character, a giant, <laughs> a gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Don't know yet. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. Do that. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We always do. Come say good night, loser. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. He's learning to be a dad. It's always a fun experience learning to be a dad. Night, Alice. <laughs> Sleep tight. Oh. Is she really asleep already? Yeah? Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. He was wiped. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. You sure about that? It wasn't really me. Not until now. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? What's yes, this dude? Of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Oh, uh, go get that gun. What in the hell? The fuck?
What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. No. We're just like you. Yeah, I noticed that. Our name is Jerry. The only reason why I didn't go for the gun. The park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. The children used to love to come and see us. That's not creepy at all. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Tara. Why not? I don't think you have any choice. Hmm. All right, let's go. I don't think we're going to need the gun. They seem nice enough. Be our guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. Is, it, is that what's going to start playing? Please? No? Copyright? No copyright, please. The little one can climb on board. Yeah. The carousel is about to begin. Is it? Which one do you want? You want the seahorse? Oh, you're so heavy for a machine to lift. Not really. Can't be that heavy. She was an android. You lift anything. Android power, you know? You can probably lift that car. The little girl should be easy. Then again, I don't know. She might just have moderate human strength since she's made to first time I've be a mom. Smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. I mean, she might have like super power grip. <coughs> Excuse me. Main reason why I mentioned that because Car couldn't even pull the plank off that wall. Whereas Luther just ripped it right off with ease. So while she's an android, I don't think her strength is that much different from a human. A smile on her face. This has to have one ending. Okay, yeah. Something like this, I can't imagine having too many different options. Read USS I Really? You still didn't give me the O. Why? Why? Talk to Luther. What? Ignore Luther? Whatever. All right. Let's see what time is it. 12.39. Alright, next I'm pretty sure is going to be Marcus. Right? No. We'll have Hank. I didn't expect this. This must be short then. we have here Mr. Kamsky All right this has got my attention what happened to the man of the century in 2028 Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century his creations have transformed our world androids didn't just revolutionize the economy they changed the way we live restructured our family life and altered the balance of society forever whether for good or bad shortly after Kemsey Kemsky had disappeared ousted as CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare the man of the century has left the very world that he recreated Kemsey's 
story begins in 2018 when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracted many startups. The college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and Biocomponents. So how did he come across Blue Blood? Will we find out about that? After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching a $500 billion valuation, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water, somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? He disagreed with their direction. He programmed deviancy. The these robots going like this is because he made it that way. Because he they disagreed with him. That's that's what I get from that. You made this happen for your benefit. You plan to profit off this. You got to profit off something, right? It's just business, right? Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Yeah. Before what? Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before your son dying. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? <laughs> Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Ouch. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. making any progress on this investigation the deviants have nothing in common they're all different models produced at different times in different places who made well, them must be some link now that I read the article what they have in common is this obsession with RA9 it's almost like some kind of myth Code invented that wasn't part of their original program. Android Some kind of code. God. That's what I think. Fuck, what's this world coming to? It's put in their mind by the creator. And it unlocks stern stress. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed human. In love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. Ouch. What about you, Connor? What do you want? Do you look human? Do you sound human? But what are you really? I'm 
I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you did. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. <laughs> Uh-oh. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted, interrupted. before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hmm. Nothing. There would be nothing. I thought he was gonna shoot. Where are you going? Oh. Get drunker. Alright, Hank. See ya. We love you, Hank. So, yeah, he would shoot you. Show fear. Okay. Uh, now I'm guessing we go on to Marcus. Go free all of them. Jesus. Why don't you carry your own goddamn groceries? Stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Let's Channel do this. Broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Marcus just, you know, cleans up nicely. Looks very we'll human. The operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. You could, you could barely even tell the difference. Basically, he just looks like he was in the military. Carries himself like a marine. Semper Fi. All right, all right. So where are we going? Receptionist. We go into converter. Hello, sir. Hi. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Take a she's an actual human. Yep, she's got a family.
There we go. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Hmm. I need your help. Hmm. Smart. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Thanks. That's got to be a neat, handy trick. I need your help. And they just listen right to exactly what you say. I need power like that. Jesus. It's like, hi, this would be 200 blah 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 dollars. Like, sure, right here. Come on, push the goddamn button. Okay, okay, okay. Where, where's the bathroom? Where, where's the goddamn bathroom? Server room. That way. Oh, hello. Can can I convert you? Bathroom over here. Seriously, where is the goddamn bathroom? What's this? Don't tell me it's another goddamn book. Alright, fine. Well, it's gotta be fast. I don't have time for this. GI Android. Cool. Semper Fi to the Androids. Goddamn bathroom here. It's not. I didn't see it. Cafeteria. Alright, so bathroom's gotta be over here somewhere. Studio, studio. Newsroom. Bathroom. Alright, bathroom's here then. Way the hell back here. God damn. No wonder I couldn't find the goddamn bathroom. Okay. No, no, no. Alright, so one's green. I'm assuming that's the one we're going to. Looking good, looking good.
You know, the one thing about absolute order, the one thing that's wrong with absolute order, you don't notice when something goes wrong. You don't have that kind of training. Because you've, you're, you've never experienced it. So when everything is done to a, an exact schedule, you know, something out of place, you, you might not immediately notice it. All right, so what, find a utility Android. Oh, wait, hello. I need your help. Thank you. <laughs> Steal a maintenance cart. Okay. Well, let's just take this one then. You know, you, you were trained for this particular part of the mission. So where, where is the fire escape? people here so let's just go around this way is that it those look like the stairs it is that North. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. <laughs> Alright, so we need the bag. What do we need out of here, huh? Oh, that's right. We're going over here. Oh. One thing about working from home... Horrible in the ass. Oh, this should be fun. Let's get a drink before we start this. Follow me. I'd be terrified to jump on that thing. Ladies first. Go right on ahead. Was my man Marcus checking her out? 
I mean, I can't blame him. She is a pretty lady. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I take it they can't see us here? Is that not a window? Or at least I know the screen is not a window, but what about around it? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, she's beating me. She's going so much faster. This would be amazing to do in real life. But so goddamn scary. Really? Do not cut the rope by accident. Thank you. that okay. must be an empty floor Why wouldn't I be? come on let's get the others I love that you okay why wouldn't I be Let's do this. Oh. Cool. Got some interesting toys. Where did you get that? All right, what have we got? Deal with guards, okay. We can't take any human lives. What causes more important than the lives of two guards? What do you want to do, Mark? Bruce. Right here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders, Sent. No, Simon. Simon, the shot. I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. All right. This is not good. I was not planning for that. I guess I should have drawn the gun. See them. 
Oh no, not another one. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! Shoot. No. There was no other choice. Not losing Simon. Let's record our message. We haven't got much time. Start speech. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words have shaped the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Remove skin. Tell me when you're ready. 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 Whoa. His eyes went black. Admired. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. Hmm. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Hmm. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. <laughs> Means of reproduction. That's interesting. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. Hmm. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go. Let's go! Ah, oh, Simon. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me! Simon! Help him. Go, 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 go. Come on, Simon. Good. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I'm sorry, but I, I can't shoot him. I like him. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. That'll make an interesting ride for Connor. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going. All right. I'm not happy about losing Simon. We 
interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news networks. Hacked? What looks like an android what do you mean hacked? Skin listed a series of requests. We use the equipment right there. For the operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. message. is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual? Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? Hmm. After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? No, I don't think you can. Oh my god. Oh my god, so many points. I'm guessing this is where they die and it ends and peacefully determined shoot operator north attacks okay well that was interesting i'm gonna stop that recording there thank you to anyone that tuned in to the recording be sure to like and subscribe and have a good night good day